There are so many packages on my desk right now, I can't even fit everything into the frame. So, let's do this. This is going to be a massive art haul. Hi guys, welcome back to the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel. My name is Mina and on this channel we do art stuff. So today I have a huge haul for you guys. This is from a variety of different shops over the last few months. Um, so there are things here from Amazon, from Jackson's, from AliExpress, from TK Maxx, from um, eBay, from the SSAA, Society for All Artists. Um, I think those are the all the places that I have things to share with you from. Like I said, some of these things are from a, a while ago. I just never got around to showing them in videos before. Um, and a few others are more recent purchases and lots of new videos are going to be coming based off of these purchases. So I hope you will enjoy this. Anyway, first off, I have a couple of packages from AliExpress that literally just arrived uh, this morning. So let's open it. Okay, so in here is a pad of watercolour paper. So this is a pad of Bao Hong Artists watercolour paper. This is in the 9 by 12 size and 20 sheets. It is a block. I'm not going to open it right now. It's 100% cotton and this is their artist grade variety. I've tried their student grade variety and it's also 100% cotton, 300 GSM, like same sort of credentials essentially. But um, I'm curious to try out the artist quality one and see what the difference is. Now I know you can get some Bao Hong paper on Amazon and I think now Jackson's stock Bao Hong paper but I'm not sure if it's the student or the artist one, I can't remember exactly. I'll try and remember to leave a link below. I have also ordered some more of the student quality one because I've run out of it and I want to kind of do it like a side by side comparison of the two. I actually already ordered earlier a smaller size version of this block. Uh, 7x10 size block um, which is over in my stash somewhere but um, but yeah this was on really good sale on Aliexpress so I wanted to grab the larger size so that's the first thing ah and here we go here's the rest <laughs> these are the student quality papers so this is the academy watercolor paper pad from Bao Hong I also got two sizes of this one. I got the 8.3 by 5.9 and then the 12.2 by 8.3. So the sizing's a bit different um, in terms of, you know, the, the Academy one is 12.2 by 8.3 and the Artist one is 12.2 by 9. So for some reason, um, one is a little bit smaller than the other, but it's the same credentials, 20 sheets, 300 GSM, 100% cotton, acid free. And that's the same with the artist quality one. So it'd be interesting to test these out together side by side and see what the differences are. And I also got a smaller size version because this isn't quite a nice fun size to do for um, like to make cards or to like split it in half and do small cards or something. It's just a great practice paper because it's cotton, but also not too expensive, which is great. And I think there's one more thing in here. Yep. Oh. And this was really just a for fun purchase. I just really love the Starry Night um, Van Gogh painting. And so this is just a small tin. And it's got, oh, uh, with magnets, or they're very small magnets, but they're quite strong. It's got, I think it's 40, yeah, 40 half pans in here that you can fill with paints and I think this would be a really fun sort of travel palette. I've just been away on a trip and come back and um, the palette I took with me actually has 39 colours in it so it's a really nice sort of number of colours to take. It's got this foam in the lid which you could take out and what I plan on doing is putting some um, Yupo paper which is like a plasticky kind of paper um, in the lid here and you can then use it like a mixing palette or if you have one of those um, tear off 
disposable palettes for like acrylic or oil painting you could also use that to create like a little mixing palette and then you can actually have like spare sheets if you needed to replace it so that'd be really good as like a travel option I personally don't really like the idea of those disposable tear-off palettes but I have one that I inherited from my mother-in-law so I'll use it until it runs out so that might be what I do with this and it's actually got the painting on the picture on both sides it come in a bunch of different prints and stuff on it but I really like the starry night and it's quite slim line really small and easy to take around very portable the tin itself with the half pans in it isn't very heavy so I know once the paints go in it'll be a bit heavier but it won't be too weighty or too much to carry so I quite like that like I said it was a little treat for myself it wasn't too expensive and yeah I just wanted it so there we go Next up, I have a few things that I picked up from TK Maxx over the last little while. I've, you know, popped in a few times over the last uh, few weeks. And they have, so I think in the US they're called TJ Maxx, but here in the UK it's TK Maxx. And they have a couple of sections, a couple of aisles in their home section, so the home sense part of TK Maxx, where they have like art supplies and stuff. And so usually it's craft grade stuff, usually it's not the best quality stuff, but um, sometimes you find some little gems in there and that's what I found recently. So I found this calligraphy dip pen set by Montmartre. Um, and it comes with a bunch of different, nine different nibs and the pen actual thing to hold it in. I do have a glass dip pen that I need to play around with a bit more, but I've never had like a proper dip pen. So I wanted to give that a go. And this was only $3.99. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, they had two of these Ecoline brush pen sets. They only had these two colors. And these were actually the two last ones there. Otherwise I would have got other color sets if they had them. So I got the red set, which was $5.99 and the earth set, which was also $5.99. Um, in a separate video, I'll do like a swatching video with all of, well, not all, but with a lot of these supplies. So these ones I will swatch um, in the part two for this video, because otherwise this is going to be very long. Um, so I don't actually know all the names of the different colors because I haven't taken them out yet. I actually only got these yesterday. So these were fairly recent. Then um, they also had this, Talon's Art Creation Sketchbook. Now this is 90 pound acid free paper and it's not specifically designed, I guess it's kind of like a mixed media paper. I've never actually seen one of these in person and they didn't have an open one for me to look at the paper quality. But I've see, heard of some artists using these as like a watercolor sketchbook and they've used it with watercolor successfully. So I'm curious as to how much water this paper can handle. Um, it feels pretty smooth so I think it's more like a heavy sort of like cartridge paper or mixed media paper so we will see we will see how this goes um, I'm kind of thinking of maybe using it as a bit of like a planner type situation because I kind of want to get a bit better at planning and keeping on top of things I feel like I'm always falling behind with work and stuff so that might be why I use this for and then to be able to use watercolors in it would be quite fun as well so I will test that out when I test out the other supplies. I'm putting those aside so I remember to test those out. Um, I'm not sure about the dip pen right now. I might test that out later. Then I also got some, I found these paint pens and line markers by Derwent. So these are the paint pens and these were $8.99, which is almost half price based on what they sell for elsewhere. And the Derwent line makers were only $5.99, which is like a third of the price of their full price. So I thought that was pretty good. And I'll also test those out. They also had this pack of Faber-Castell Albert Durer watercolor markers for plein air painting. They had a couple of different sets, but this was the one I liked the look of and I only wanted to get one. Um, and this was on sale for eight pounds. The regular retail price for this set is 25 pounds. So that was a steal, I thought. And this was their landscape um, colors trying to see if it actually says what the pigments are somewhere I'm pretty sure it said somewhere now I can't find it I think I actually googled the set to see what the colors were in it before I purchased it and I remember thinking I like those colors but I didn't I don't remember <laughs> off the top of my head what they are so I'll test those out as well then um from eBay and again I actually got this a while ago but I think you can probably still get it it's kind of like those Himi gouache sets which are really really popular but it's just like a non-brand version or the brand I guess is Le Mouche, I think and it's the 24 color set so those are all the colors that are in the set 
And this set also came with a set of brushes, which is just tucked under this edge there. So it just came with this set of um, artist brushes. They don't look to be the best quality, but they'll probably be that some of the flats and the fill bits and stuff will be fine for gouache. The rounds don't look particularly great, but I have other brushes that I can use. I didn't get it because it came with brushes. It just happened to come with brushes. And this set was really inexpensive. It was like 10 pounds. Usually these sets go for like 18, 20 pounds, especially for this larger size. Oh, so it does say Hemi on it. So the outer cover doesn't say Hemi on it anywhere, but there we go. I guess it is the Hemi set. Um, so 24 colors, like I said, it's the lid it comes with a white palette, which is great for mixing. And then these, you get the little jelly cups with the uh, paints in them. So I haven't opened this yet, obviously. You get 30 mils of paint in each cup, which is very generous. Um, and you can put your brushes in this little area down here. So I might do that. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna play around with this. Um, I'm wondering if having gouache ready to go at hand would make me more inclined to use gouache. At the moment, my gouache is in tube, so I have to squeeze it out every time I wanna use it, which isn't a problem. Um, and also the gouache that I have is like the artist quality gouache and so I'm also a bit wary of wasting it too much um, So it's nice to have like a cheaper set that I can practice with without worrying too much about wasting the paint Also, if my daughter ever wants to have a go with it I don't mind her using these bonds versus my more expensive ones Again, if I can find the link for this on eBay still then I will include that as well if you're interested it's very hefty and I think it was free postage as well which was really good this will be swatched in a separate video so I won't be swatching that in this in the part two for this one that will be its own little video then on Amazon around Prime Day I think it was there was a really good deal on the Mayling pretty excellent watercolor set which um, I've been really curious to try out. I've heard that this is like the student version of like Paul Rubens watercolors and I've tried the Paul Rubens and really like those so I was really cu curious about these and by all accounts they're really good quality as well. I've not swatched them or painted with them or anything. Um, it comes with the swatch card. There's no pigment information on the actual card or the leaflet that comes with it but I know if you go online you can find the pigment information. Others have posted reviews with pigment information as well. It has a little plastic cover over it. And these paints are kind of just glued into um, into these little plastic wells. It's like a flimsy kind of plastic. But again, I'm tempted to take these out and just put them into individual wells and then put that, put those individual wells into the tin itself and just get rid of this flimsy plastic bit but right now this is glued in so I don't want to peel it out at the moment it also comes with a water brush which I'm not a huge fan of water brushes but if they are what they are some people really like them they can be handy when you're traveling but I don't I'd rather just use a proper brush and water so that will also be its own little video coming up Whew, okay so a few other things that I got actually let's do the Amazon ones first so I got this little pack of paint pens from um, Artistro, and I bought these. I know some people on YouTube have been sponsored by Artistro, but I bought these ones and it was a beautiful set of colors, kind of a bit different than your traditional sort of primaries and like bright colors that you get. And I haven't tried these out yet, so I'm really curious how these will work. They were on a really good sale when I got them. Um, I'm not sure if they're on sale anymore, but I will link these in the description box as well. I'll try and link everything I can remember to find below this video. Um, please bear in mind the links below will likely be affiliate links for most of them, which all that means is if you use one of these links to purchase something, then I get a small commission, which doesn't cost you anything. It just helps me out and I really, really appreciate it when you use them. Um, and you know the affiliate links are clearly marked with like an asterisk asterisk so you'll know which ones they are um but yeah just wanted to make that clear um i'll probably swatch these in a separate video just because these pens need to be primed and i don't have a lot of time to do that in this in today um i also got this watercolor this palette this plastic this plastic it's not plastic it's ceramic palette from aliexpress 
and oh, I meant to do all the Amazon ones, it's fine, um, from AliExpress a while ago. And I really like this one because it has 12 whirls around the middle. And I kind of had this idea of doing like a color theory type of basics color theory video with like color mixing, color wheel, how that all works. And it's nice having the 12 whirls around the outside to be able to do that. Um, also just in general, it looks pretty, so why not? Um, but yeah, so if I can remember to find, if I can find the link for it, I'll link that as well. Um, then on that same note from AliExpress, I got this watercolor sketchbook, which is really nice. It says on the listing and that on here that it's cotton. I'm not sure it's a hundred percent cotton, but based on how the paper reacts to water and paint and stuff, I do believe there is some cotton content in there. I had a smaller version of this sketchbook, which was really nice and you'll you'll have seen it when I did my um, galaxy painting video tutorial on the channel. Um, if I remember, I will link that, otherwise you can find that easily on my, on my page. And I had a smaller version of this book, which whilst I love the paper, I didn't like the size. The size wasn't working for me. I think anything smaller than A5 for me, for watercolor painting is just too small. I don't really paint on such a small scale. Uh, so when I found this larger version, I was like, okay, I will try it out. I like the paper, so I will try this size. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see that texture there. It's got a really nice texture to it, and I just really like it. So that's the larger version of this sketchbook. What size? I just threw the label away. It's 16 by 24 centimeters. So I think that's something like 10 by... Uh, let me just grab my ruler and tell you in inches what the size is. It's about nine and a half by six and a half inches, roughly. So it's a good size. I like it. Then also from Amazon, uh, being on a paint pen kick at the moment, wanting to try them out. So along with these, I also got these Edding acrylic paint markers. Um, and this set was actually really inexpensive. I think usually the set is something like 25, 25 pounds or something, but I got it for like 13 because this box had been previously opened, but otherwise everything is new. So like literally this is the only thing that was wrong with it was that it had been previously opened, but all the paints are still sealed. Nothing's been used. Um, so yeah, so this is the set. It comes with these six colors and then a black and a white in a thinner marker. Uh, so I think these are in the two in like the two to three millimeter size, and then the black and white are in the one to two millimeter size. And then it also comes with a pad of acrylic paper underneath for you to draw on. So I thought that was a really cute little set. Um, and I like the colors selection as well, so I want to try those out. And I'll probably do these and the Artistro paint pens in a separate video as well. Or like a bunch of different videos to film. <laughs> Um, this is that other part of the Bao Hong Artist watercolour paper that I was mentioning before. So I've also got that one. The last thing that's already opened, I still have, what is it, four, five boxes to open? A lot. This is going to be a long video. Um, these four Unipin brush pens. So I really like the Unipin fine liners and I wanted to get some in like lighter greys and a brown, like a sepia colour, just for like outlining other works, like not necessarily always wanting a really dark black as an outline. Um, and I went looking and I saw this set on Amazon, a set of four, one in each colour, so a black, a sepia, light grey and a darker grey. I think that's what this one's called. Yeah, dark grey light gray, black, and sepia. But these are all brush tip pens. So these are the small brush tips, kind of like a Tombow Fudenosuke pen. There we go, you can see. It's got a nice soft little tip. And so it's really nice to do some sort of like calligraphy type writing. And I'm trying to find a piece of paper to show you. So just nice having a variety of colors and being able to vary the line width for like outlining or sketching or just writing in general. Um, and again, it wasn't too expensive. I think it was about five pounds for the four of them. So I will try and link that below as well if I can find it. All right, this box is huge, but that's because the thing in it is quite big. So um, 
This is really exciting because it's something I've been thinking about for a while and a lot of the stuff in these next few boxes that I have to open are going to be to do with this new thing that I want to try my hand at. Um, so let me just, I can't turn the box over because it's got the address on it so I'm just going to make sure all the edges are open so I can open it up. Okay. definitely been well packaged which is good because I don't want this to be broken any guesses yet what this is it's a pretty large glass palette you can see my camera reflection in the glass um, it's got like a protective plastic layer on it, which I'm not going to take off right now, right now, but, um, but yeah, any guesses yet as to what this might be for? Uh, I'm not going to tell you yet. Wait and see as I open the rest of the packages to see if you can guess what this is. Okay, so next up we have a little one here. Yep, small bottle of clove oil. We have this box. in which we have um, some measuring spoons and cups. I'm not sure what color this is. I don't remember. They're in black. So it's a nice little set. These are the spoons and there's a set of cups as well. There's some vegetable glycerin. Gum Arabic powder. There again, this should probably be your big hint as to what's coming. And then um, it's a small watercolor palette with some uh, pans and magnets, which is great. This was actually a really good bundle deal price, price-wise as well. Um, so if you're in the market to get a small palette for yourself, I highly recommend this one. So this is what the palette looks like. Open it up, Let's put the tray with uh, for the colors which you can take out or put back in. And it comes with a bunch of half pans that you can use to fill the tray with. I'm not sure why it came with magnets because with those sorts of trays you don't really need a magnet but if you want to use them you can I guess. Anyone, anyone guessed yet? The next one is a Jackson's box. I actually have two packages from Jackson's because I ended up placing two orders very close together. I love how Jackson's just use like no plastic in their packaging. It's all um, paper and the tape is made of paper as well. So, okay. So first things first, I've been wanting to get this. It's a travel brush. Clearly I've been on my travels now, but it wasn't in stock, but now it was in stock. So I decided to get it. It's a Jackson's travel brush in a size nine and it's just a nice size for traveling. It has a nice point to it. It's a synthetic brush. Yep, there we go. It's just a nice brush. It's got a nice point to it. It's synthetic and a great sort of travel size to have. So that's that one. Comes with a little pouch, which is quite nice. Not that you really need it, but <laughs> there we go. Um, that. So these are the missing things to go with everything else that I have here. So let's open these up. So I picked up some pigments from Jackson's. They were having a pigment sale um, about a week ago or something. 
and uh, yeah, so I decided to bite the bullet and have a go at making my own handmade watercolours, which I thought would be so much fun to experiment with. I'm not planning on this becoming like a business venture or anything, but just for fun. And if I have some extra paints made up, then maybe I could do some giveaways or something, or maybe, um, you know, if I do have lots of extra stuff, then I can sell a few things here and there, but it's not gonna be like a big plan to do anything massive. I just wanna have a play around, get my, like, uh, play around with it, see what I can do. Um, I did actually have a couple of other pigments in my cart, but they um, went out of stock before I got around to purchasing. So, um, but yeah, I still have seven pigments here to play around with, and I think that's going to be plenty to get started and have some fun. So I picked up Hansi Yellow Medium. Um, I don't know if it says what the pigment is on here. Yeah, PY74. Nicolaser Ye Yellow, which is PY150. Italian Burnt Sienna, which is PVR7. Venetian Red, PR102. Natural Sienna, Monte Amiata, which is PBR7, and Permanent Red, PR170. And then this larger jar is uh, Prussian Blue, PB27. So I got, um, of the Permanent Red, the two yellows, I got 10 grams of each of those. The Sienna, Italian Burnt Sienna, Venetian Red, and Natural Sienna are all 25 grams. And the Prussian blue is also 25 grams, but for some reason they put it in a larger jar. Now the only other, a couple of other things that you need. So I had these stuff on the side here is to actually make the binder for the watercolor. Um, a couple of other things you need are obviously water. And if you want to use honey, honey as well, which I have in my kitchen. And um, when you're handling the pigments while they are still in powder form, you need to wear a good sort of mask to like a filtered mask to be able to filter out the dust particles. So um, I do have a really good sort of dust mask that we got for, cause we're planning on sanding our floors in our house. Um, so I have a good dust mask that we use, that we will be using for that, that I will use when I am handling these paints, these pigments. So that's gonna be really fun and exciting. And I can't wait to share this journey with you guys. Um, I've been umming and ahhing about it for a while and I just bit the bullet and decided to do it. I have ordered a glass muller that just hasn't arrived yet. That's the only other thing I would need to be able to do this. So I think um, that should be coming next week, I believe. So once that's arrived and I have some time, I'm gonna set aside a few days to play around with this and really give it a go and see what we can make together. And I'm so excited to share that process with you guys. So, so yeah. Anyway, the other things that were in this order is this little tub of Daniel Smith watercolor ground in titanium white. Again, I've been really curious about trying out watercolor ground, so I wanna give that a go. And then in here, I have a tube of um, M. Graham's neutral tint, which I am really curious about because it's the only neutral tint that I have come across that doesn't have a black pigment in it and I was really wanted to give it a go. This is made up of, um, where is it? PV19 and PG7. So it's like a quinacridone rose type color and a phthalo green. Oh, quinacridone violet, sorry, and um, phthalo green. So that's that one. And I also got two pans of white nights. Got one in golden deep and the other one in ochre light. Cause um, I, I I have golden with my set currently. Do not like it. I think I'd like golden deep better. And the yellow ochre that comes with the set that I have is actually just not worth it at all. It's disgusting. Um, but I've heard they've recently reformulated their yellow ochre and they've also added an ochre light. So I wanted to try the ochre light and see how I liked it. I'm actually planning on doing a full on review on my White Knights watercolor set. They were my very first professional watercolor set that I, uh, watercolor paints that I ever purchased. And I do love them. I love them so much. I think they're great for beginners. They're very affordable entry sort of level watercolors uh, for professional quality. And I actually have a 24 set of those paints to give away, which is really exciting. And uh, more about that in a video coming up uh, when I go over the water. I'm planning on doing a big video just about White Knights watercolors, what I think of them, some demonstration paintings, etc., etc. It might be a small series, at which point I will also be doing a giveaway for that extra set that I have. Um, 
and yeah, I'm kind of waiting till I hit like a milestone on YouTube before doing that giveaway. And uh, and yeah, so if you are enjoying these videos, please hit subscribe, like this video, leave a comment. Let me know if you're interested in that sort of thing. And I will, um, yeah, I look forward to doing that video for you guys soon. Okay, so this is the last box I have to open and show you guys. Okay, so this was a fairly small order. I just had a few things that I wanted to, uh, to to get. So Jackson's had some of their um, paints on sale this last week. The, some of their Schmincke and Winsor and Newton paints, which also meant the Win the Schmincke dot card was on sale as well. And I've been wanting to get the dot card from Schmincke for a while, but just was waiting for it to go on sale basically to get it so that's what we have in here it's the Schmincke 140 color dot card so here we have the dot card it says a little dot of every color in the range of pigments provided by um, produced by Schmincke now I think the only ones that won't be on here are going to be the um, super granulating colors which are new and I think the colors have just come off on the plastic that's fine. Okay. So what I'm planning on doing is a um, swatch along video with um, with these paints so we can swatch them all together and see what we think. So that will be coming up soon. It'll be a pretty relaxed sort of chilled video, I think. So that'll be really fun. I also got some more um, sample papers from Jackson's. Uh, from their test it section, which I always enjoy uh, trying out some of their papers. And I like these smaller sizes for little um, little paintings and stuff. Oh, and this is the Upo paper that I was telling you about. This is the Upo Heavy, it's a small little sample size pad. And it's basically like plastic paper, so you can't really tear it or anything. And you can use it with watercolors, but then it wipes clean as well. So you can kind of use it like a reusable palette when you travel and stuff so for that watercolor tin that I showed earlier um, I have a bigger sheet like a slightly bigger sample sheet of Yupo that I can use to cut down to fit into there to use as a palette I also got a little um, Daniel Smith dot card this is a, they do these dot cards for different artists where they pick like a palette of colors that they will put onto these smaller dot cards and this is the Shirley Trevina palette not an artist I've heard of but they do for different ones and when you order one from Jackson's it's just a random one they will randomly send you one so this has a range of different colors on it some I've tried some I've not tried so um so yeah that would be really fun and I'll also do like a little swatching video for this one so we can test them out and see what we think and then these little boxes are always full of the most fun things paints so I've got a few more tubes of paint. So I decided to try out the Lucas Cobalt Green. This is a PG50. Curious what this looks like. Um, I also got the Lucas Gamboge, which is actually PY153, which from my research is the original Gamboge color uh, pigment. So I'm curious to see how this, what this looks like. It's been discontinued by a lot of different brands, but Lucas apparently still have it, so. Um, and then I also got a tube of the uh, Cobalt Turquoise, which is PB28. And again, I'm obsessed with this sort of Cobalt Teal, Cobalt Turquoise colour. And I also got a tube of Cobalt Azure Blue by White Knights. This is PB36, so it's like a cerulean blue, but this is a more saturated, beautiful sort of sky blue colour that granulates amazingly, makes beautiful purple mixes with pinks. And I just absolutely love this colour. So, and White Knights is a very affordable brand. So I picked up a tube of this as well because my last tube has now finished. So I will swatch these in the swatching video as well for you guys, along with um, the neutral tint and the other two colors of White Knights paints that I got as well. So these, along with some of the stuff I showed earlier, 
I will swatch in the part two of this video. I have a feeling this video has already been really long. It feels like I've been recording for ages. Anyway, this that's it for part one. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and are looking forward to the videos that will be coming up. What um, what things are you looking forward to seeing um, seeing first? Let me know in the comments below. Are you interested in the paint pens, the gouache, the uh, pretty excellent paints, uh, the swatching? Um, let me know and uh, yeah, I will try and prioritize the videos based on your re requests. All right. I will see you guys again soon. Make sure to check out the description box for links to as many of these products as I can possibly find. And um, and yeah, leave me a comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate all of those things. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.